this uh, Top Gun sequel make me want to sign up for uh, the Air Force uh, and the Navy? Watch her to find out. Top Gun Maverick, directed by Joseph Korniski, and is the uh, 2022 sequel to the 1984 uh, sort of classic, uh, Top Gun. So Top Gun Maverick tells the story taking place uh, literally 30 years after the events uh, of its predecessor, which uh, is appropriate as this sequel is uh, released, well, practically 30 years after the first, where Maverick, played once again by Tom Cruise, uh, uh, has, uh, well, uh, is still uh, a uh, aviator in uh, the uh, U US uh, Navy, and in this sequel his past uh, returns uh, to haunt him, where he has to, uh, well, uh, meet a, a Rooster, the son of his deceased friend a Goose, played by Miles Teller as well as uh, meeting his new love interest Penny, played by Jennifer Colony, and is assigned a mission uh, that uh, requires uh, the ultimate sacrifice. Now, exactly five months ago, back in May, I mean, this, this movie, well, uh, uh, took me by shock, and, and it, it, I did not expect this sequel to become the global phenomenon that, that it did. Everybody raving about how uh, Top Gun Maverick is one of those sequels that completely and utterly blows uh, the original out of the freaking water, and uh, and calling it one of the greatest sequels ever to grace cinema, as well as the the literal masterpiece of 2022. Whereas I was not particularly racing to see it as much as uh, uh, the majority as. I'm simply not a Tom Cruise fan, uh, sorry, and, uh, but, uh, that said, I do think the original Top Gun is, uh, one of the more watchable Tom Cruise, uh, blockbusters. While I still, let's uh, say, uh, War of the Worlds, uh, the Spielberg uh, one is, uh, Cruise's, uh, best uh, performance, uh, I mean, Top Gun uh, may be his most fun. It certainly towers over all the Mission Impossible installments. I mean, yes, it's the, the definition of a cheese fest, but it can't exactly help that as uh, it, it was the time it was made after all. And, and it's still uh, ha harmless fun at the end of the day. But as for uh, the Top Gun Maverick, uh, as a sequel, uh, yes, uh, it is uh, indeed more impressive uh, than uh, the original, and uh, I love uh, that it's uh, uh, removed uh, all the cheesiness and uh, continued the story of Maverick uh, in a far more mature uh, direction, and, and it does respect the original, admittedly, though I'm not, uh, I'm not so going as far like everybody else is and calling this the... Uh, best movie of the year. I don't think it's quite as flawless as everybody is uh, making it out to be, but maybe there's a chance it will uh, just to make my top 10 uh, best list for this year. I mean, we'll have to see when the year draws to a close, uh, but, uh, but uh, this sequel does do a lot of things admirably, and uh, I mean, it's uh, <laughs> it certainly will... Uh, uh, get you into, uh, well, uh, uh, pilots and, and uh, the Air Force. My family does have uh, somewhat of a history with the British Air Force, uh, the RAF. I mean, both my granddad and uh, Grace uncle uh, served in, in the Air Force and in their young day. And, uh, I mean, the flying sequences uh, are, uh, well, uh, pretty out of this world. <laughs> like, uh, this movie uh, easily uh, uh, puts the original to shame uh, from a visual standpoint. That's to be expected from a sequel that was made at uh, 36 years after the original. <laughs> and uh, and uh, this movie does uh, pay a lovely tribute uh, to uh, Goose's character. You know, even though he's gone, his memory and his legacy still very much lives on. Miles Teller's Rooster is... Uh, 
uh, the uh, uh, standout new character in this movie is he does have a uh, hard time uh, uh, trusting and believing in Maverick because, well, uh, b because of uh, what happened to his father in the past. But Rooster growing to trust Maverick and have respect for Maverick, I mean, I mean that was uh, uh, really the heart uh, of uh, the entire movie. And uh, yeah, and once again, the, the cinematography is uh, to, to die for. And uh, and we, you really get a sense of, uh, and the bonds between all the pilots uh, in the Navy made this movie feel even more heartfelt than the original, like when they're all playing volleyball together on, on the beach. I mean, not only is that uh, scene, well, stunningly captured, but you do feel w warm inside when you see it and you, you, uh, uh, you, you don't, you really uh, don't want anything uh, tragic to happen to any of these pilots. And, and yeah, the, the, the uh, final action scene where Hangman comes to Maverick and Rooster's rescue, it uh, does, uh, conclude this movie off uh, with, with a bang, uh, not not a whimper. <laughs> and uh, the uh, soundtrack uh, uh, was composed by, well, like four composers, holy shit. I mean, not only do we have Hans Zimmer uh, here, but uh, Lady Gaga, one of the goddesses of music herself. Uh, uh, and of course, Hans Zimmer being a, a god uh, uh, among composers, uh, the music uh, when it needs to be, does sound indescribable. And I think Aaron Kruger was one of the, the many screenwriters of this movie, and this is surprisingly the, the closest to a good script that he has ever written. I think it's because he did have help. Uh, I mean, it's not a case of too many cooks in the kitchen, frankly, no. They, they collaborated together, uh, uh, r rather nicely, but uh, I did uh, uh, say that I'm not uh, exactly uh, in in love uh, with Top Gun Maverick, and that's uh, due to the character of Maverick uh, himself. I'm sorry, I I just uh, find him completely unengaging as a lead, and it's not just because of uh, well um, my thoughts on Tom Cruise as an actor, but uh, just. Uh, the character, I really uh, think, uh, needs more to him than just, uh, you know, uh, being uh, a Navy pilot who, every, who, who everybody idolises. Uh, and uh, uh, Jennifer Colony's character, Penny, I mean, she is a, a serviceable love interest. I just wish she was in the movie so much more than she was. I wish the... Uh, mother and daughter bond between her and her teenage daughter Amelia uh, got uh, uh, more focus uh, than it did. It's like uh, she uh, uh, really uh, should have had equal screen time to Maverick for their love story to feel uh, more, more relevant uh, to, to the narrative and I mean, yeah so so Jennifer Colony's scenes uh, were far too short in, in in my opinion. Both her and her daughter are the most underrated characters in the film but uh, and then there's the runtime. Yes I do think that two hours and ten minutes uh, was uh, just uh, a bit of a stretch uh, for uh, the runtime of this sequel. I did uh, l losing interest in what was going on uh, because uh, uh, because the pacing uh, wasn't uh, uh, exactly uh, giving me an adrenaline boost. You all will be delighted to hear, well, one Tom Cruise movie that I don't mind uh, sissing through, and uh, and I'm I'm happy for it that it is the highest grossing movie of 2022, and the first movie this year to join the billion dollar club. And I can see why it was shown in cinemas for as long as it was, uh, and as it really, well, helps uh, uh, cinemas uh, make a comeback even more in an age where streaming uh, looks like it is taking over at times. I give Top Gun Maverick three stars out of five. Good movie. So yeah, not bad Tom Cruise, not bad at all. Uh, though, uh, yeah, I, I, I uh, really couldn't care less about uh, Mission Impossible uh, 7, uh, which uh, ha was supposed to be released this year but has been 
delayed to 2023. Uh, well, I love you guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this review. What are your thoughts on Top Gun Maverick? Are, are you with me and that uh, uh, you uh, enjoy it, uh, but uh, wouldn't, uh, well, uh, say uh, it uh, was, uh, well, the uh, best movie of the year? Or are you with the majority and think it is literally the most perfect movie we've got this year? Please comment and let me know. Please like this video and subscribe. Please follow me on Instagram. And I'll see you all next time uh, when I uh, do Fantastic Beasts, The Secrets of Dumbledore Impressions. As I realise I've done Wizarding World Impressions, just not Secrets of Dumbledore ones. And and I'm also planning to make a video on... Uh, of when will Fantastic Beasts 4 and 5 happen, and remember, movies are us. Bye guys!